I greet you in the name of Jesus. When John Wood asked me if I would preach, I said, uh, are the pastors up in Waitangi for the gathering? Why else would you ask me to preach? Uh, he said, no, we love you to preach. <laughs> so I've, I've only done that once before in your congregation. This might be the second and the last. <laughs> no way. I want to bring you a very simple message this morning. It is about the gospel. The gospel is truly good news. And the most basic truth of the Christian faith is contained in what we Christians call the gospel. The word gospel means good news. And there cannot be a single person who does not like hearing good news. Some years ago, there were a lot of good news, bad news jokes. And I understand that humor can be quite different in different cultures, so I hope this example translates well into Chinese humor. Because like this. Doctor, I have some good news and some bad news. Patient, what is the good news? Doctor, well the good news is that we the tests we took show you have only 24 hours to live. <laughs> Patient, that's the good news? <laughs> What's the bad news? <laughs> Doctor, I should have told you yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> there is the story of a preacher who got up on a Sunday and announced to his congregation, I have good news and bad news. The good news is we have enough money to go through our building program. The bad news is it's still in your pockets. I see our humor is similar. How do you feel when you found out you've had success in your exams? How do you feel when you find you've been the successful applicant for a job? How might you feel if you're selected to play in a team to represent your country? Husbands, how did you feel when you asked your girlfriend to marry you and she said, Oh yes, with all my heart, I thought you'd never ask me. <laughs> Wives, how did you feel when you delivered safely your first baby? With the right number of fingers and toes and a face that looked just like his father. <laughs> but you knew its looks would improve. <laughs> yes, we all love good news. And, but when it comes to the gospel, the good news that Jesus brought. There is a problem, a problem I hope you don't have. You see, for many, the good news has been hidden under a pile of religious nonsense. 
。呃，要知道，对于很多人来说，这个好消息已经被一堆的宗教的繁荣、呃、繁文缛节所遮盖了。So let's go back to the first announcement of the good news. 让我们回到这个好消息第一次被宣讲的时刻。And it came through the prophet Isaiah over 700 years before Jesus was born. 那是在耶稣啊出生前一百前七百年，赛亚所预言的。In chapter 61 of the prophecy of Isaiah, verses 1 and 2, the prophet wrote, "The spirit of the sovereign Lord is upon me." 在以赛亚书第六十一章第一节和第二节，先知这样说：“主耶和华的灵在我身上。” Because he has appointed me to preach good news to the poor. 因为耶和华用油膏我，叫我传好消息给谦卑的人。He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. 差遣我医好伤心的。To proclaim freedom to the captives. And release from darkness for the prisoners. 被囚的出牢笼。To proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. 报告耶和华的恩年。That certainly sounds like good news, especially if you were among the poor, the brokenhearted. 呃，这对于那些谦卑的、哀伤的和被呃被俘虏的，的确是非常好的消息。The captives and prisoners. There must have been people who heard Isaiah speak this prophecy and applying it to their own situation hoped this would be indeed their year of the Lord's favor. 听到以赛亚说这个预言的人当中，一定有人对自己的状况有所感触，希望那一年就是耶和华的恩年。But this prophecy was intended primarily for a later time. 但是我们知道这个预言是为了以后预备的。We read of it in Saint Luke's account of the gospel. In chapter four, Luke records that on the Sabbath day, Jesus went into the synagogue in Nazareth. In Luke's Gospel, in the fourth chapter, we see that on the Sabbath day, Jesus went into the synagogue in Nazareth. And he must have been asked to read the scripture for the day, which just happens to be this passage in Isaiah. 他一定是被要求读一段经文，这正好是这一段以赛亚书中的预言。He stood up when the time came, read it, rolled up the scroll, and then sat down facing the congregation. 他就在这样的一个时刻站了起来，读了这段经文，卷起了羊皮卷，然后坐下来对着听众。And the people waited for him to speak. 人们正在等他开口讲话。They were stunned when Jesus said, "Today." This scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. When Jesus said, "Today, this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing," they were astonished. Jesus announced that he was the one appointed by God to bring the good news. Jesus announced that he was the one appointed by God to bring the good news. Jesus announced that he was the one appointed by God to bring the good news. Jesus announced that he was the one appointed by God to bring the good news. Jesus announced that he was the one appointed by God to bring the good news. Jesus announced that he was the one And it was generally believed that wealthy people had found favor with God, and He had blessed them with prosperity. Ah, 人们当时普遍认为富有的人都蒙神的恩，他们的富足是神为他们的祝福。But Jesus said it was harder for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God than a camel to pass through the eye of a needle. 但是耶稣说，一个财主进神的国比骆驼穿过针眼还困难。You see, the rich may take joy in their wealth independent of God. 我们可以想象，富人可以享受金钱带来的喜乐，而与神的供应无关。But the poor are dependent upon God for their joy. 但是穷人的喜乐一定是要建立在神的里面的。Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of God. Jesus proclaimed. The gospel says, if you recognize you aren't good enough to earn God's favor, the kingdom of God is for you. 好消息也这样告诉我们，如果你认为自己不够好而得不到神的恩典，那么神的国就是你们了。Because instead of relying upon yourself to be good enough, you can only rely upon God's mercy. 因为你不再依靠自己的努力，而是完全依靠神的怜悯。The good news is for prisoners. Those who are trapped in their sin. Ah, this good news is also for those who have been trapped in their sin. Ah, this good news is also for those who have been trapped in their sin. Ah, this good news is also for those who have been trapped in their sin. Ah, this good news is also for those who have been trapped in their sin. Ah, this good news is also for those who have been trapped in their sin. 
The gospel declares that you can be no longer guilty, no matter how bad your sins, set free. The gospel says you can be put right with God and accepted by Him. The good news is for you if you're seeking after truth. Jesus said, you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. And no other person in history has ever claimed, I am the truth. The gospel changes the way you see things when you see life through God's eyes. The vain, godless philosophies of this world are revealed as lies. Their promises of pleasure crumble into piles of dust. Their bright lights plunge into darkness compared to the light of the gospel. The good news is for you if you are captured by attitudes and behaviors that are destructive because you've not met the one who said, I am the way. Jesus is the only one who has ever claimed, I am the way. All other religions say, here is the way to live a righteous life, and then set out the rules to live by. But Jesus says, He is the way. The good news is for you if you're feeling oppressed by the weight of life. Your career, your relationships, your bank balance, your marriage, your time commitments, all manner of things may be weighing heavily upon you. The gospel declares you can be released from these oppressions. Jesus said, come to me. All you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. What you must understand is that the gospel is not about being religious. The teachers of the religious life in the time of Jesus, the priests, Pharisees, Sadducees, and scribes, were obsessed with keeping the rules of their religion. They went to great extremes to fulfill the smallest detail of what they believed the Ten Commandments required. Because they believed that by keeping the rules, this would give them God's blessing now and that included prosperity. And after death, they had earned eternal life. They called their rules the law, and they went to extraordinary lengths to impose the law on everyone. And, and to judge and punish anyone who broke the law. But listen to this. Religion tends to rely upon keeping rules to become religious, uh, to become righteous, and to find favor with God by how hard you work. And rules become a tyrant, a dictator that steers you away from the only way to know and experience the one true living God. The gospel 
For when we rely upon the rules, the object of our efforts almost always becomes keeping the rules rather than knowing and experiencing the ruler. And keeping rules become either a cause for condemnation and defeat or a source of pride. Break the rules and you're no longer righteous. Keep the rules and it's all about how good you are rather than how good God is, the God who you worship. The gospel declares that it is not keeping rules that make you right with God. For you are unable to meet God's standards of righteousness that's even higher than the strictest of man-made rules. And the good news is that God has made a way for each of us to know and experience Him that is real every hour of every day. It's through a, a, a continuous loving relationship with Him, not through a system of rules. And this is freedom. When Paul wrote his letter to the Galatian Christians, he was worried about reports he'd received of them returning to a set of rules. He wrote, You were running a good race. Who cut in on you and kept you from obeying the truth? What had happened? The Galatian Christians had begun adding their former religious Jewish rules to the gospel, just in case the gospel wasn't enough. Perhaps the gospel, Jesus' death and resurrection and forgiveness of sins for all who believe, might need something more. Verses 2 to 4 of chapter 3 tell us, Did you receive the Holy Spirit by observing the law or by believing in your heart? Are you so foolish? After beginning with the Spirit, are you now trying to attain your goal by human effort? Does God give you His Spirit and work miracles among you because you observe the law or because you believe what you heard? And what was the result? Paul asks this question of them. What has happened to all your joy? And this is typically what happens when religion replaces relationship with God. Paul reminds them that it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. And he reminded them, the scriptures declares that the whole world is a prisoner of sin. And again, we were held prisoners by the law, locked up until faith should be revealed. 
，我们被看守在律法以下，直圈到那将来的真道显明出来。And didn't Isaiah prophesy that the Anointed One would proclaim freedom for the prisoners? 难道以赛亚没有预言说受高者使被囚的得自由吗？ The good news is that even though your sins have condemned you, Jesus, the sinless one, took the penalty you deserve, so that you can be declared not guilty by God Himself and set free. 好消息就是，即使你因自己的罪性而被定罪，无罪的耶稣为你承担了代价，就是死。这样你就可以被神宣告为无罪，得到自由。And many of you have experienced this yourselves. 我知道你们当中许多人都有这样的经历。But listen, you who have accepted God's offer of salvation. 但是要听清楚了，你们接受了神的救恩。You who have accepted Jesus as your Savior and have been rescued from condemnation. 你们接受了神做你们的救主。Do not let the simplicity of the gospel become complicated. 千万不要让这简单的福音变为复杂。Do not go back to faith in religion, for that only makes you compare yourself with others for proving your righteousness. 不要再回去信靠宗教的规条，因那只有只会让你把自己与别人比较来证明自己的公义。Do not put confidence in rules, for these only bring you to failure, self-condemnation, and hypocrisy when you hide your failure. 也不要去依靠律法，这些只会带来失败以及自我谴责，还有就是为了掩盖失败的虚伪。Instead, follow what Paul told the Galatian Christians: live by the Spirit. And you will not gratify the desires of the sinful nature. If you are led by the Spirit, you are not under law. 而我们要遵行像保罗告诫加拉太基督徒的那样，你们当顺着圣灵而行，就不放纵肉体的情欲了。因为你们若被圣灵引导，就不在律法以下了。This is freedom. In this freedom, there is great joy. 这就是我们所说的自由，在这自由里有很大的喜乐。Now listen, you who are still not right with God. 呃，那些还没有人和好的，请你们仔细听了。Until you personally accept that Jesus was crucified for your sins, and until you confess your need of His forgiveness. 直到你，直到你亲自接受耶稣为你的为你的罪被钉在十字架上。并承认你需要他的宽恕。And invite Jesus to enter and take control of your life. 并邀请耶稣进入到你的心里，并掌管你的生活。And you receive God's Holy Spirit. 你接受神的圣灵。You will never know the joy of being set free from guilt and condemnation. 除非我们上面说到的这一切，你永远都不会体会到从内疚和谴责中被释放出的那种喜乐。You. Will never experience God. There's nothing you can do to earn God's favor. You can be as good as any person on earth. You can obey all the rules that you think will make you good. You can give money to the church or to the poor and sick. You can read the Bible and say prayers, attend church, and go to a cell group. You 甚至可以读圣经、祷告、参加教会、去参加小组。It is not about being religious. It is about whether you have a personal relationship with God Himself. 这与宗教任何宗教形式是没有关系的，而是关于你是否与神建立一个个人的亲密的关系。And the good news is. It's not what you do that will make you righteous. 但是好的消息是，并不是因为你做了什么，让你成为公义的好人。It is what God has done in Jesus Christ for you already. 而是神已经在耶稣基督里为你所预备的、所做的。The good news is that the sovereign God loves you. 最好的消息是，拥有权、主权的神爱你们。Yes, He loves you. So much he has done everything that needs to be done for you to know him and experience him. 是的，他是那样的爱你们，他已经做了所需要的一切事情，让你能够认识并且体验到他。He loves you so much. He longs to set you free from all condemnation and invites you to experience him now and into all eternity. 
，他是那样的爱你，渴望他渴望让你得到自由，不再受到控诉，并邀请你经历他，从现在直到永远。Now is that good news? Is that good news? 这是好消息吗？是好消息吗？ Well, it is for all who personally accept it and receive Jesus Christ. It is really good news for those who personally accept and receive Jesus Christ. For those who personally accept and receive Jesus Christ. For those who personally accept and receive Jesus Christ. For those who personally accept and receive Jesus Christ. For those who personally accept and receive Jesus Christ. For those who personally accept and receive Jesus Christ. For those who personally accept and receive Jesus Christ. For those who personally accept and receive Jesus Christ. For those who personally accept and receive Jesus Christ. For those who personally accept and receive Jesus Christ. For those who personally accept and receive Jesus Christ. For those who personally accept and receive Jesus Christ. For those who personally accept and receive Jesus Christ. For those who personally accept and receive Jesus Christ. For those who personally accept and receive Jesus Christ. For those who personally accept and receive In New Zealand, our breeds of sheep look very different from goats. Have you noticed? In New Zealand, our breeds of sheep look very different from goats. Have you noticed? In New Zealand, our breeds of sheep look very different from goats. Have you noticed? In New Zealand, our breeds of sheep look very different from goats. Have you noticed? In New Zealand, our breeds of sheep look very different from goats. Have you noticed? In New Zealand, our breeds of sheep look very different from goats. Have you noticed? In New Zealand, our breeds of sheep look very different from goats. Have you noticed? In New Zealand, our breeds of sheep look very different from goats. Have you noticed? In New Zealand, our breeds of sheep look very different from goats. Have you noticed? Had to look closely to tell one from another. 甚至是在乡村的呃交易市场，没有训练过的人要非常仔细的才能分辨出他们。Jesus often referred to his followers as sheep because sheep were trained to follow the sheep herder. 耶稣经常把他的追随呃跟随者比作绵羊，因为绵羊是受训能够跟随牧羊人的。My sheep hear my voice and follow me. 我的羊听我的声音，跟随我。Jesus described how, on the great judgment day, he sought out the sheep from the goats. He, Jesus, also described that in the final judgment day, he sought out the sheep from the goats. They may look very similar, but no matter how much alike they look, their destinations are opposite. They may look very similar, but no matter how much alike they look, their destinations are opposite. They may look very similar, but no matter how much alike they look, their destinations are opposite. They may look very similar. The sheep hear God say, "Come, you who are blessed by my Father." Uh, they hear Jesus say, "Come, you who are blessed by my Father, take your inheritance, the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world." The goats hear their judgment. Depart from me, you who are cursed into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. 山羊则听到这样的审判，你们这被咒诅的人，离开我，进入那位魔鬼和他的使者所预备的永火里去吧。I have some good news and some really bad news for you who reject the good news, and this is not a joke at all. 对于那些那些拒绝了福音的人，我有一些好消息以及非常非常糟糕的消息，这个不是开玩笑的。So what is the good news? 所以好消息是什么呢 ？Jesus has just arrived on the clouds of glory. It is judgment day, and he's separating out the sheep from the goats. 耶稣已经抵达了荣耀的云端，这是审判的日子，他将山羊和绵羊分别开。What's the really bad news? 那么什么是非常不好的消息呢 ？You're a goat. 你只是一只山羊。Amen. Amen.